Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a live look at the Tribal Reset. We got 10 seconds here. It's in the middle of a live stream, so here we go. What are the new tribes going to be? We're about to find out. First look with the chicken. Three, two, one, and boom. All right, so what do we got? What do we got? Resource, resource, tank health, grand damage, shield, shield generator, three health? What? Rocket launcher damage. Shield generator 3 health, that doesn't do anything, does it? Well, I guess it just makes it harder to take out, but that's kind of funny. Uh, grenadier damage, tank health, resource reward. Um, that's good for crystals, I guess. Resource production. Resource production is okay. Um, tank health. Tank health isn't going to be useful. Unless, guys. Unless... There is a uh, mega crab that comes within the next two weeks. So, uh, not the greatest, not the greatest tribes. I mean, grenadiers are going to be fun to uh, to play around with, but um, but yeah, let's see, let's see if we can use. Um, what do we want to use? Tanks or grenades? You guys, let me know in the in the chat. I guess we could we could blast both them up and use both of them. I got so many. First off, let's let's just see what we can get out of these. Uh, out of these raw crystals so what do you guys what do you guys in the chat think um uh tank grin i guess a lot of people yeah more team ed players garbage uh, i just upgraded grenadiers shield gen health makes vp climate pain when we all have two of them that is true for sure um all right so not the greatest tribes not the worst tribes either but let's just see how many raw crystals we can get loaded up here guys uh, it should be a pretty good. Uh, it should be a pretty good amount. So, first, let's get all the stone. We started with twenty four fifty, uh, or the iron. Then we'll get all the stone. Then we'll get all the wood, and we'll even do a couple gold ones here. So we have three thousand five hundred, almost a maxed out raw crystal mine, guys, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we have some more NPC bases loaded up, and there's a few bases left to take down. So, uh, what do you guys want me to max out here? I'm really, I'm kind of torn to be honest. Um, shield gen 3 health uh, I don't know if that's worth it man um, there, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to do that one uh, resource production I'll probably do um, that one seemed decent you also have to be very active to take advantage of resource production because um, it like maxes out your gold like every hour or something there's some sort of bug with it um, so if you're not online just take advantage of that all the time like say you're only online 3 times a day it's really not worth doing um, so maybe we'll go with tank health, we'll boost that up, and then we'll boost up Grenadier damage because we have the raw gems, there's no reason to hold on to anything, and let's just see, let's see if we can use some tank Gren medic attacks because uh, we might as well try to take advantage of these tribes over here, and it is still technically medic mania, so we have a little bonus kind of for all these troops, so we got four tanks loaded up, and then we'll go... And then we'll go two medics and two grens, something like that. I think I'm not a, a tank grand medic expert, guys, but uh, it should be it should be interesting either way. Uh, so we'll get the grens loaded up like this, and let's go ahead and dive on into um, a player base over here. Um, if you use shield gen threes a lot or not, yeah, a bit of a bit of a fail on the tribes, I guess. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So we'll get. Um, we got to get rid of this grappler first if we're going to have any chance of doing this properly. Um, that actually went down really easily. So we'll get the tanks coming up first. Then we'll get the grins. Then we'll get the medics. And then we'll get Sergeant Brick loaded up. Um, so what do we got to be worried about here when we're using these kind of slow roll uh, troops? Um, shock blasters, of course, boom cannons are going to be a problem. Uh, shock launchers are going to be a pain for sure as well. Uh, getting Brick going with the tanks is going to be huge just more so for the speed than the actual damage itself uh we'll throw some critters right here that should distract the boom cannon shock blaster and shock launcher uh we'll go ahead and get another battle wars going up like this uh let's shock this over here next and hmm okay so next let's throw shock down here we're almost able to get that boom cannon other boom cannon and the shock blaster there uh okay so we gotta get we gotta get this boom cannon that's going to be the end of us really really quickly all right so we got that shocked 
Uh, I want to reflare everybody, but I can't really. We're kind of stuck here, guys. We're kind of stuck at the moment. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll do that. And we'll go like this. Okay. And then now we'll flare the one tank and the two. Oh, man, this is gross. This is just disgusting. Um, maybe we shouldn't have boosted this, guys. I would say. I mean, if you don't use tanks and grands, it's not like they just become a million times better because of the tribal boosts. But, um, but yeah, I think the I think the the best one to boost is going to be the resource production tribe uh, out of all the ones that we had. And it, unless, of course, you haven't maxed out uh, your tribes just yet, then you're probably gonna have. Um, then obviously, you're gonna want to go with the resource reward tribe uh, to max out instead, because. Uh, because that's just a, a super easy way to get raw crystals, right? So, um, I guess that's the chicken's, uh, suggestions for what you should do on, uh, on these tribes, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say. Man, as if that Grandeur stepped in that boom cannon. We actually got really close to this. We got really close to this. This was, uh, Everspark's better choice in general for universal remote. Uh, two tank, two med, rest, Gren. Okay, so, now we know, I guess, but, um... There's no way we're gonna be able to take this down here guys even with the extra grand damage. Uh, I was just fully boosted and I just ran out so um, That was kind of bad timing. I bet if we were fully boosted we wouldn't have had any problem doing this base, but uh, Either either way guys either way guys um, Hopefully the 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 stream doesn't go down, but even if the stream does go down. We still have the video going so um, Oh my god. I do not know how beardaholic does this guys. This is the most painful attack strategy like it's just Okay, so here's a question for everyone in the chat. If I if I bring them closer, will they do more damage? I've heard that being said before. So I'll flare them up closer. And then I'll flare them onto the HQ. I'll throw a medkit down. Uh, the, the medics should be able to get that out of the way. Are we going to have enough grand power to take this out, guys? 40 seconds left. It doesn't really look like it. Uh, do you think resource production is still bugged? Uh, I assume it is because it was the time before last time when everybody was talking about it. Look at this, guys! 25 seconds! The whole video is just this one attack. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. They're not gonna get it, are they? With 15 seconds left. Come on, you drunk bastards. Come on, take it down for us, please. 13 seconds. 10 seconds. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be friggin' close if we can get a good kind of just random cluster of shots off here, guys. Four, three two one oh my god oh my god i hate grenadiers i hate grenadiers man that was painful that was just painful so um we'll take them down using zookas before we wrap up the video guys we do have someone going in live here which we'll check out in a second but uh we gotta get this guy down and out of the way that's that that was just oh man that just hurt the chicken just <clears throat> Like, what, five more seconds we would have had it? Like, come on now. Come on now. Alright, so we'll just get the Zookas walking up like this. Um, this is actually kind of a tricky landing because it's wide open. Um, you don't usually see layouts like this. Um, Alright, so then we'll move up like that. Okay. And then we'll move up right about here. I mean, this guy doesn't have uh, a shield on his HQ, which is always a mistake. Um... Because now we can just use all Zookas and it's going to be super easy. Because you only need like one or two shots to get it off, right? I feel like I've said that a million times. But uh, we'll go ahead we'll flare up on it like this. Uh, we'll throw some critters in the back like that. And then we'll go bang, bang with a med kit. Two med kits and one and two. So a little bit easier, a little bit faster to use Zookas. Even though the tanks and grens are boosted up, guys. Um... But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the uh, the tribal boost down below in the comments. I feel like this uh, this one isn't very good uh, unless we just out of nowhere get a mega crab like within the next like this coming weekend or something like that. I think that would be the only good thing to come out of that because tank health plus forty five percent is really nothing to sneeze at. Almost uh, an extra half tank for every tank that you have. So. Uh, the live stream is going to continue, guys, but that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments uh, what we just said about um, what do you think about these tribes. And uh, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Oh.